Today in Ardmore, the National Guard's 63rd Weapons of Mass Destruction team out of Norman paired up with local emergency responders to conduct a mock drill. The drill involved a chemical release in the Ardmore Convention Center with a large group of people inside. KTS Haley Holliday attended today's mock demonstration. She's in the Ardmore Newsroom with more. Haley? Randy, Armour firefighters say this is the first chance they have gotten to work with the mass destruction team and claim today's scenario was important to practice in case this type of incident were to happen here in Ardmore. Authorities with the National Guard say the team trains with emergency responders around the state, each time having a different scenario. Everything was covered from putting on protective gear to getting victims outside to washing off chemical residue that could have covered their suits. Both emergency responders and National Guard officials say it's important to test how agencies would react to a situation such as this. Well, the biggest deal is, is, is if there is an incident, we don't want the first time that they see us is that a real incident. The more training, the better anywhere, and, and the hazmat especially, because we're really, it's kind of a new field for us, so we, we really need to concentrate a, a lot of our time in, in training our hazmat equipment. National Guard members say today's chemical release event would last all day, just as if it were the real thing. Reporting live in the Ardmore Newsroom, Haley Holiday, K10 News.